how to use Feedly for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you guys how you can get started with Feedly. Feedly will help you stay ahead of the curve and it is the latest way to track the topics and trends that matter to you. You have different types of products that can help you in gathering valuable information. They have their threat intelligence as well as their market intelligence. Threat intelligence allows you to collect and analyze data such as your critical vulnerabilities, threat actor behavior, and malware families. Then, to get a full view of your competition and your new industry trends, you can go for their market intelligence tool, which allows you to see competitive intel, tech innovation, and industry trends. They even have a news radar for individual readers looking to take control of their news feeds. Now to get started with Feedly, simply click on get started for free. And once you do that, you are going to choose the right product for you. So if you want to read all your favorite blog sites or newsletters in one place, if you want the market intelligence tool or the threat intelligence tool. So I want the market intelligence tool. And from here, I am going to fill out this form, which includes our first name, last name as well as our email address then we have our company name and then our job title and then let's say i want to see tech innovation and then i'll click on start my free trial over here now from here as you guys can see here's a quick video to give you a preview and from this video, you can get a preview of the Feedly tool. Now, keep in mind that the Feedly tool does approve your trial period. So you do have to wait for some amount of time. You can go ahead and check your mail in case you do get any updates regarding your Feedly trial. Now, if the Feedly trial is taking too long for you, you can always go and pick a different product which might be more accessible because the market intelligence as well as the threat intelligence tool are both tools that are specifically made for a team. And if you are an individual looking to get started, then using the individual plan to sign up can usually speed up the process. So even if I do sign up for my free trial, you will see they will be in touch with you within one business day to help you get started with your Feedly trial. Now, what is the pricing of Feedly? Because we understand the features that it can provide us, but what about the actual value that you are getting? Well, Feedly on the started version includes market intelligence AI models, 100 AI feeds, company and trend insight cards, team collaboration, five newsletter templates, and upwards of 10 seats with a dedicated customer service manager. And this is going to be billed $1,200 per month. And this is on annual billing. If you choose to opt for monthly billing, it's around $13 to $1,500. And after that, we have the advanced plan, which includes everything in the standard, as well as 200 AI feeds, emerging trends dashboard, as well as 2000 AI actions, 20 newsletter templates, up to 25 seats, API access, single sign-ons, unlimited workshops and training, and large company lists. This is going to run you up $2,400 per month on annual billing. Now, one thing to note is that if you go for their market intelligence, they are not going to accept the .gmail email address. So you do have to go for a business email like this one over here, and you can agree to their terms and conditions and then click on get a demo. Additionally, if you are still uncertain on what type of free trial you want, you can always go for their newsreader and then click on get started for free on their newsreader. And then on their newsreader, not only can you actually sign up with your email address, but you can even just directly sign up with Google. There is no requirement for a business address for this particular feature provided by Feedly. So once you sign up for the news reader, you're going to see a panel on the left where you have a sidebar. In this sidebar, you have a feed. Then you have create AI feed where you can track companies, topics, and technologies. And then you also have power search where you can search across your favorite sources. You will see a today section, a read letter, Feedly AI integrations and API. 
Additionally, you can keep up with your favorite feeds and keyword alerts by creating different types of folders and boards. So I can create a simple board and this might be my research on fashion and I can add, you know, whatever I want uh, in the description. Let's say this is going to be style analysis and then I can click on create and this is going to be a private board. Once I do that, I can click on add article and I can paste in different articles. I can also go into the AI actions where I can create a market landscape report, technology monitoring as well. Then you can also manage your board from here share this and also highlight this board additionally in feedly you also have different plans on their newsletter section or on their news feed section where you can go for the pro plan at nine dollars and 99 cents where you can create upwards of a thousand fields notes and highlights power searches save to evernote pocket OneNote, share to linkedin buffer and zapier as well as get new articles 10 times faster you can also hide sponsored advertisements with with premium fonts and premium support now let's say i want to get started with my news feed so i will simply search for let's say i want to look in marketing and then we have the marketing starter kit we have you know different blogs and the top matches that they have so i want to take a look at the marketing starter kit content marketing institute and then from here i can look at the different articles that they are publishing i can visit their website if i do find what they have written to be interesting and this can help you in finding the right information for your particular business whether you're looking for marketing fashion content tech ai or anything at all you can easily find it so let's say i want to do makeup and i'll just search for makeup over here and you will see there are going to be a bunch of different uh, examples for similar topics or related topics on the right as well. And you will see what are the top articles, what are the top articles seeing to better analyze trends. Now, this is going to suggest websites. You can also go into the Reddit section. You can also go into the newsletter section and the Google News section to be able to search in those particular databases. Instead of looking at multiple different websites, you can look at one particular website. You can also follow multiple different websites for one topic. So if you're looking for AI based information, you can track it across multiple different sites like Forbes or any other business platform to make it easier for you to analyze the critical information that is going to be effective for your leadership and business. So in this way, you can get started with Feedly as a beginner. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.